The Toyota Tacoma is a testament to reliability and longevity in the truck world, having long been known for being incredibly reliable and long-lasting despite being neglected or withstanding torture tests. The Tacoma has carved out a niche as a small truck that withstands the test of time. That's why people have purchased Toyota trucks, and those who have owned one know how they really are incredible pieces of machinery, but this could all be changing with the new generation Tacoma. Toyota made the switch from one of the longest lasting engines on the planet to an entirely new powertrain, which has the automotive world shaking its head. Will the new turbo four-cylinder Tacoma be as reliable as these workhorses have been over the past several decades, or is the era of reliable Tacomas coming to an end? Let's take a look at the details. You're probably going to be surprised. If you enjoy automotive content and find this video helpful, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. The 2024 Tacoma is really bringing some major changes. First off, Toyota has given it a fresh look. Think Tundra vibes with a sleeker body. Inside, it's a whole new game, with better features, fancier materials, and that perfect mix of toughness and luxury, with the trim level fitting for just about any type of buyer. Things get even more interesting under the hood as we say goodbye to the old 3.5 liter V6 and wave hello to two new engines. The standard iForce turbo four-cylinder keeps the power at 278 horsepower, but cranks up the torque to a substantial 317 pound-feet. Then there's the iForce Max, a turbo four-cylinder joined by an electric motor, teaming up for a wild 326 horsepower and a mind-blowing 465 pound-feet of torque. Now here's where the plot thickens. Ditching the old V6 for a smaller four-cylinder is causing quite the stir. The 3.5 had its fans since it rolled into the Tacoma in 2016, but not everyone is on board with this turbocharged option. The 3.5 wasn't the fastest or most powerful engine, but it was low maintenance and reliable, which is really everything when it comes to trucks. Toyota's legacy of building rugged trucks traces back not just to the Tacoma, but to their earlier, smaller pickup trucks, laying the foundation for a reputation synonymous with reliability, long before the inaugural Tacoma rolled off the assembly line. Those who've owned earlier Tacoma models and Toyota trucks in general can vouch for their exceptional durability. Even when used as workhorses and very little maintenance, they never seem to stop running. The 4-liter V6 in the older Tacomas earns accolades from mechanics as one of the longest-lasting engines ever produced, and has been used in countless Tacomas and 4Runners over the years. Tacomas from the early 2000s are still navigating the roads today with the exceptions of rust victims, maintaining their performance and fetching high prices compared to rivals. The lack of issues over the years, with engine and transmission failures being exceptionally rare, underscores the longevity and reliability of this setup. Toyota's dedication to creating vehicles that stand the test of time shines through in these incredible trucks. The six-speed transmission featured in the previous generation of the Tacoma earned a solid reputation for its robust construction, with very few reported issues. Even with minimal upkeep, this transmission showcased remarkable durability, running seemingly indefinitely without slipping or encountering significant problems. While some users expressed concerns about the transmission's programming, citing occasional rough shifts, delayed reactions, and a tendency to lug, its reliability remained excellent. Toyota's commitment to building dependable transmissions extends beyond the Tacoma, with models like the Highlander, Camry, Land Cruiser, and the older 4Runner transmissions. Toyota doesn't casually draft transmission designs. Instead, they dedicate significant resources to research and development for each transmission, ensuring a quality level in line with their renowned reputation for constructing reliable vehicles. The consistently reliable and well-built transmissions across their vehicle lineups over the years shows that the new transmission and the new Tacoma will be long-lasting as well. With 10 speeds, it's likely to be smooth with plenty of speeds for towing, perky acceleration, and other types of driving. Turbocharged engines, while known for their ability to boost power and improve fuel efficiency, tend to be less reliable than naturally aspirated engines for several reasons. The primary factor contributing to this reliability gap is the added complexity of turbocharging. Turbochargers operate under high levels of stress and heat, which can accelerate wear and tear in components like the turbocharger itself and other parts, such as intercoolers and piping, as well as the engine itself. This increased strain can lead to more frequent maintenance requirements and a higher likelihood of component failures. Additionally, turbocharged engines often require more rigorous maintenance practices, including regular oil changes and cooling system checks. While advancements in engineering and materials have improved the reliability of turbocharged engines over the years, 
they still generally require more attention and care compared to their simple, naturally aspirated alternatives. Turbocharged engines can indeed be extremely reliable despite their increased complexity, provided they're beefed up and well designed. If Toyota applies the same meticulous thought and engineering expertise to this engine as they have in their previous models, there's a high likelihood that this engine will be exceptionally reliable. It's worth noting that some of the most enduring engines globally are turbocharged, especially diesel units designed primarily for commercial applications, such as large trucks, heavy equipment, generators, and marine uses. These engines are built to endure a lifetime of demanding usage. They're designed to last a very long time with solid construction, unlike many cars and trucks that are made to be practically disposable. This goes to show that the technology for long-lasting turbo engines is there. The question is, has it been applied to the engine or not? By taking a look at the redesigned Tundra that no longer uses the V8 but a smaller turbo V6, we can gain some insight into the ownership experience one might receive from the new Tacoma. Let's just say the reliability of the turbo V6 in the Tundra hasn't exactly been great. In the beginning of 2022, problems surfaced regarding the wastegate, a vital component responsible for regulating the speed of turbo spin. A malfunctioning wastegate could result in the turbo spinning excessively fast, causing an influx of air into the engines and the potential for damage. Toyota promptly tackled this issue by switching suppliers for the wastegate part, effectively resolving the problem. However, there have been sporadic reports of engine failure attributed to diverse causes, although these incidents don't seem to be too frequent. The engineers at Toyota are experts when it comes to hybrid powertrains, considering the Prius came out back in 1997 in Japan and came to the US for the 2000 model year. The added complexity of the electric motors and the constant stopping and starting made a lot of people skeptical of its reliability, but it turned out to be an incredible machine. There are many Priuses with 300,000 miles or more, still running strong. Other Toyota hybrids, such as the Highlander, have been known to exceed 1 million miles. The design of the iForce Max hybrid powertrain in the Tacoma doesn't operate quite the same as the one in the Prius, but it sure seems that Toyota knows how to make great hybrids. You might go as far to say that the iForce Max will actually be more reliable than the standard iForce, because the engine itself won't work as hard. With turbocharged engines in particular, regular maintenance is critically important. In fact, changing the oil frequently using high quality oil is the most important thing to keep the engine running for a very long time. Various mechanics will tell you not to follow the recommended maintenance intervals for oil changes and actually change the oil more frequently than suggested. Why? Because the car makers are incentivized to reduce so-called maintenance costs, which include just telling their customers to change their oil less frequently, even if it results in decreased longevity. The old naturally aspirated V6 could go far beyond the oil change intervals and still run fine. However, turbos spin usually between 80,000 and 200,000 RPM, compared to less than 6,000 RPM for the engine itself. This extremely high RPM creates high amounts of heat, which can break down the oil prematurely. Furthermore, turbos have many small, intricate passages for the oil to flow through. With naturally aspirated engines, various mechanics will say not to exceed 5,000 miles, and even less with a turbo. Also adhere to the 6-month rule and change the oil every 6 months even if you haven't reached the mileage interval. I'd recommend following Toyota's maintenance schedule for special operating conditions, which if you read the details, includes most people. Just like keeping the engine oil fresh, keeping the transmission fluid clean is extremely important, even though everything is labeled as a lifetime fluid in the days of reducing so-called maintenance costs. Various mechanics agree that it's smart to drain and fill the transmission fluid about every 60,000 miles, which would go along with the maintenance manual's special operating conditions for previous Toyota vehicles. The main concern people have when it comes to the reliability of the 2024 Tacoma is the engine. The rest of the truck, including the transmission, is very likely to be reliable and well-built. The turbo engine is really the only question mark. If it's half as reliable as previous model Toyota trucks, major problems such as burnt out turbos or blown engines probably won't result for many years. Ever heard someone swear off buying the first model year of a car? It's pretty common for new vehicles to have more issues than something that's been around for a while, even with trusted manufacturers like Toyota. While we might think Toyota is exempt from this rule, their latest models have demonstrated that they're not immune to this. 
to play it safe, it's a good idea to hold off for at least a year, letting any initial hiccups, particularly with the new powertrain, get sorted out, if potential issues would be a deal breaker for you. Even though the car makers do their own testing of their new products, once they start selling them in large quantities, issues pop up that send them back to the drawing board. When investing in a new car, especially when considering the cost of a new one nowadays, a warranty is a huge advantage. While it's not something you ideally want to depend on, having a warranty on new cars serves a purpose, assuring buyers that costly repairs won't be a concern, especially with a new model. All new Tacomas come with a 3-year, 36,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty in a 5-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty. This coverage allows addressing any defects right out of the gate, ensuring the potential for several trouble-free years of ownership. While warranty might not be flawless and doesn't account for the inconvenience of being without the vehicle or the effort involved in returning to the dealer for diagnostics and repairs, it still provides a certain level of peace of mind. This is pretty important for those considering buying a new vehicle that hasn't been around for 5 to 10 years to get a good grasp on its long-term liability. I personally don't think the turbo 4-cylinder Tacoma will have the same reliability as the impeccably engineered 3.5-liter V6 or the older 4-liter V6. It's more complicated with more parts and produces more heat and power out of a relatively small power plant. But cars are always becoming more complicated. They never get simpler, they're always adding features for better performance, comfort, and efficiency. This has been the case ever since cars were invented. While turbo engines from different car manufacturers are typically considered less reliable than their larger, naturally aspirated counterparts, I'm confident that Toyota has invested a substantial amount of research, development, and engineering into this powertrain. Their track record in this regard is exemplary, and I wouldn't hesitate to purchase one. Toyota has invested millions and millions of dollars in developing and building an entirely new set of turbocharged engines for their lineup. The main reason people buy Toyotas is for their reliability. Do you really think they're going to build a new set of vehicles only to disappoint their customer base? Unlikely. It's like a best of the worst scenario. As newer vehicles become less reliable across the board, Toyota will probably continue to be more reliable than most, albeit less reliable than before.